Hey, welcome back. This lesson introduces you to Azure Active Directory, which is Microsoft cloud-based identity and access management solution. And you will learn about benefits of using cloud-based identity provider, including single sign-on for users. You will also learn about different Azure Active Directory editions as well. After completing this lesson, you will be able to describe what Azure Active Directory does. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Azure Active Directory or Azure AD is Microsoft's cloud-based identity and access management service. Organizations use Azure AD to enable their employees, guests, and others to sign in and access the resources they need. This will include internal resources such as applications on their corporate network and intranet and cloud apps developed by your own organization. It can also include external services such as Microsoft Office 365, the Azure portal and any SaaS based applications used by your organization. Azure AD also simplifies the way organizations manage authorization and access by providing a single identity system for their cloud and on-premises applications. Azure AD can be synchronized with your existing on-premises Active Directory, synchronized with your other directory services or used as a standalone service as well. Azure AD also allows organization to securely enable the use of personal devices such as mobiles and tablets and enable collaboration with business partners and customers. If you are interested to learn more about Azure Active Directory in detail, I have created different videos related to Azure Active Directory on my previous courses. Especially, you can check AZ900, AZ104 or AZ500 playlist. You can access Azure Active Directory in multiple ways. This is my Azure portal, so you can go to Azure Active Directory and you can see how Azure Active Directory looks like. Azure Active Directory is used by IT admins to control access to corporate apps and resources based on business requirements. It can also be set up to require multi-factor authentication when accessing important organizational resources. Azure AD can be used to automate user provisioning between an existing Windows Server and cloud apps, including Microsoft 365. Finally, Azure AD provides powerful tools to automatically help protect user identities and credentials and to meet an organization's access governance requirements. Each Microsoft 365, Office 365, Azure, or Dynamics 365 online subscription automatically uses an Azure Active Directory tenant. Users of these services can take advantage of Azure AD services such as self-service password reset. It depends on if it is been configured by the organization's administrator. Developers use Azure AD as standards-based approach for adding single sign-on to their application. So users can sign in with their pre-existing credentials. And Azure AD also provides APIs that allows developers to build personalized app experiences using existing organizational data. Azure AD is available in four editions. The free tier, Office 365 Apps tier, Azure Active Directory Premium P1 tier, and Azure Active Directory Premium P2 tier. So let me explain you what are the differences in these tiers. The Azure Active Directory free version allows you to administer users and create groups, synchronize with on-premises Active Directory, create basic reports, configure self-service password change for cloud users, and enable single sign-on across Azure, Microsoft 365, and many popular SaaS-based applications. The free version also has an upper limit of 5,000 objects that can be held in the Azure Active Directory. 
The free edition is included with the subscription to Office 365, Azure, Dynamics 365, Intune, and Microsoft Power Platform. Let's look into the Office 365 apps. The Office 365 apps edition allows you to do everything included in the free version, plus self-service password reset for cloud users and device write back, which offers two-way synchronization between on-premises directories and Azure Active Directory. The Office 365 apps edition of Azure Active Directory is included in subscriptions to Office 365 E1, E3, E5, F1 and F3. Let us look into Azure Active Directory Premium 1. The Premium 1 tier edition includes all the features in the free and Office 365 apps editions. It also supports advanced administration such as dynamic groups, self-service group management, Microsoft Identity Manager, which is an on-premises identity and access management suite, and cloud write back capabilities, which allow self-service password reset for your on-premises users. And the fourth tier is P2. Azure Active Directory Premium 2 offers all the Premium 1 features and Azure Active Directory Identity Protection. Identity Protection is to help provide risk-based conditional access to your application and critical company data. P2 also gives you Privileged Identity Management or PIM, which will help you discover, restrict, and monitor administrators and their access to resources and to provide just-in-time access when needed. When it comes to security, your organization can no longer rely on the network boundary. To allow employees, partners, and customers to collaborate securely, identity has become the new security perimeter. Using an identity provider gives your organization the ability to manage all aspects of identity security. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about different types of Azure AD identity types. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.